In this video, we're gonna talk about how Blood on the Leaves has been doing on Amazon Prime over the last year. So if you don't remember, a year ago, we posted a video and article on our website about how to get a movie onto Amazon Prime because anybody can do it. It takes a little bit of technical skill and it takes um, a little bit of money because you have to pay for closed captions. But besides that, anybody can do it and it's super affordable. It is not necessarily the best first step in your distribution platform, but this is a great place for your film to live after your distribution is finished and you're kind of to the point where you're ready to market it a little bit, but not really push it too hard um, and just let it sit there and collect, collect residual royalties. On Amazon, Let's just assume we already got it on there. How have we done over the last year? Um, I put together this little spreadsheet here to show because Amazon only shows us the last 12 weeks, which it's a little weird because the last couple days here are always really low. Like it looks like it's really low, but actually if you look at this, this is from a couple weeks ago. This says August 28th would be our peak. But then you look at what is now, August 28th was definitely not our peak. We spiked quite a bit after that. So like right here, the last three or four dots are usually, they're usually pretty off. So it's interesting because we'll see if this continues to rise the way it has. Because if you look at our year to date here, we in August had a, a huge explosion of, of viewership. And I'm interested to see if anybody else, and especially if any of you have put your videos on Amazon, has this happened to you? Is it something that Amazon did with Amazon uh, Video Direct that they started pushing the stuff out more? Or is it just something that happened with our movie because maybe we had a few actors that had smaller roles in the film go on to do much, much bigger films. So perhaps we got related uh, in the comments or in the related videos once those films came out on Amazon Prime. Who knows? Whatever happened, um, which is the kind of the most frustrating part about Amazon Prime, is that great option, definitely need to use it, but you don't get a lot of data as to where those views are coming from. So we have no idea why we have that huge spike that we have. It's awesome that it happened because just to give you an idea of the financials here, I'm not gonna show you the exact financials, but around here when we were getting, this is our first spike, this is right when we first released, we had a little spike around Halloween. We actually got a bunch of rat bad reviews around that time too because we were classified as a horror film. So around Halloween, people were watching it thinking, oh, this is a horror film and it's not a horror film. It's got, it's tense and stuff, but it's if you're expecting a horror film, you'll be very disappointed. So people were. Uh, so we got this big spike here, but around here where this starts to trail off, we were making uh, probably close to 50 to $100 a month. So that's still pretty decent for just having a movie that's kind of trailing off like this. And you can see even before it blew up here, it was really trailing off and then these areas in August alone, we made over $2,000. Um, we're on track to make even more in September because again, these last kind of few days here that this is showing is probably not entirely accurate. So this is what this looks like. This is over two, which this is minutes streamed so that you get paid per minute stream by the way. But so 2 million, so that's probably about a thousand twelve hundred dollars over the last 12 weeks or something, maybe more than that, I guess. Uh, oh, but we've had people purchase it too. When you get more people streaming, it tends to boost the amount of people purchasing and renting as well. But on Amazon here with the, you can you can go through, you can see we don't do any free with ads. Eventually we might do that, but right now we're still making money from Prime, so we might as well keep it this way. Just with Prime, that's where we're at. Uh, and this is unique streams here instead of, so this is the total amount of people in the last 12 weeks. Let's see the last seven days. The last seven days, a thousand people have streamed our movie. Purchases, we've had no purchases in the last 12 days. We have four, you know, we don't get a lot of purchases, honestly. Rentals, here we go, we have three, so we have four total, which like, we don't get a lot of those, but you make like a much higher amount of money per thing. And the subscription would be if we had a series, which is something we've been looking into. If you have a series, you can charge for a subscription, kind of like HBO and Showtime does. So that could be potentially really beneficial. So I'm gonna keep this video relatively short. You can check this stuff out. Check out our video or our other video about how to get your movie on Amazon Prime. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask down in the comments below. We'll try to get to as many as we possibly can. Sorry for not posting a lot lately. We've been working on our next film and we really haven't had a lot to update you with yet. So we will eventually. It's pretty awesome that Amazon Prime has come through for us the way that it has. So let us know if you have had any experience and you know if that spike has been for everybody or it was just something that happened for us. Um, and also if you have any questions, thank you for watching.
Hope this was helpful. See you in the next video.